Hello. It is me again, Sarah, that divination witch. I hope you're all well. Today's video is regarding trickster spirits and how to spot them. Now, before I go any further, please subscribe, like the video, let me know what you thought. Also check out the link tree below. It has my other socials such as TikTok and Instagram, as well as my Patreon, where if you sign up, you can get a reading off me every week. So, trickster spirits. What are they? Now, in the spirit realm, <laughs> There are numerous different sorts of spirits. There's deities, there's angels, demons, your general spirit when you pass away. Um, like in life, you have good people and you have not so good people. A trickster spirit isn't necessarily bad or malevolent. It is in the name, a trickster. <laughs> I'll have to do a video covering spirits more uh, but I'm mainly covering this particular topic to help beginners out and I'm asked this one a lot and it's very important when you're first starting to know these things and what to look out for to protect yourself. Uh, but essentially spirits, especially when you pass on, they kind of feed off our energy so that's why you hear about places being haunted and things like this phenomenas i know hollywood makes it seem more than it is but the hauntings and things happen because spirits can't move on and they also kind of need our light energy uh to sort of exist still uh they it's a brief way of explaining it. Now a trickster does just that, tricks you into thinking it's something that it's not in order to get close to you and feed off your energy. And essentially leaving you feel pants, <laughs> uh, drained, tired, low, low mood, things like that. Uh, they thrive of that and uh, sometimes you can have not just tricksters but things attached to you you know aware of uh, things around you that also affect your mood uh, so it's it's important to at least know what they are however brief and know how to protect yourself now beginners in the craft are especially vulnerable to this because they probably don't know what they are probably don't know how to identify them or get rid of them uh, so this is why I'm covering the topic now it happens quite a lot in deity work especially newbies getting into it but it's not limited to that not every witch works with deities it could be something posing to be a spirit guide which if you're very new to this you know you're not used to your spirit guides energy yet and it's about having your wits about you as if it was a living person next to you you know you don't just trust someone straight away you need to build that relationship up and it's like that with spirit work whether it's a deity a guide an ancestor whatever it takes time patience research to build up that relationship and level of trust on both sides uh, so until you've built it up these little little beings <laughs> slip in, slip through the net, and then you've got a trick stuck your hands. So you'll always hear for, from me in all my videos, especially for beginners, how research is so important. And when it especially comes to deity work, you need to know exactly what you're getting into with whatever God uh, you think is reaching out to you you need to know their mythology, the culture they come from, what they expect of you, uh, things like this, their background, you need to know. Reason being is when you come to speak with them through divination, you've got questions to ask them. So here's an example of how I figure out who I'm talking to 
and know that it's really them. So for example, my patron deity is Lady Hegarty and I know quite a lot about her and we've had a relationship for a while now so there's also personal things as well. So through divination you could use a pendulum, tarot cards, you know, numerous methods of divination. This is how I talk with my deities with Lady Hecate. So if it's a pendulum, <clears throat> sorry, if it's a pendulum, I always start with show me yes, show me no. I just ask general questions with a pendulum, like is my name Sarah, does it say yes, does it say no, to try and trick it that way. Then I'll ask questions relating to Lady Hecate. Uh, so tricksters aren't always that smart, so you could ask even something like is she an Egyptian deity, which she isn't, it should say no. If it said yes, it's a trickster. You could ask something personal like, is she, like, are you my patron? If it said no, that's a lie, trickster. Just little things, uh, ask if she has daughters, ask if she likes dogs, that should be a yes for both. If it was no, trickster. And generally, tricksters not only get things wrong, but it's like random information, like, they might get something right and then be like, no, no, yes, no, and like just silly lies and they get caught in the web of lies. So you, you, you always, even me now, I, I always vet who I'm speaking with uh, before I go into anything. So always, always do that. Now, say you've done that and you spot one, well, what do you do? You first ask, will it leave if, if you ask? Sometimes they just will. If you cleanse the place, I'll do a video on cleansing separately, but it, you could be using sage, incense, sound, numerous ways of cleansing. But uh, they might just leave like that. They might not though, and you might uh, have to get banishing. I'll have to do a video separately on banishment, uh, but there's numerous spells and rituals you can do essentially to, to banish that entity from your space generally it doesn't get that hard that you have to go really really down that path uh, for me personally I, I use a uh, the cleansing method protections first and then I may go into banishing but I will do a video separate about banishment but you want to be cleanse 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 forceful and your intention needs to be forceful that you want that thing to leave you and then if you know if you're at that stage where it's it's stubborn it's not gonna go you'll have to look into banishments and if that doesn't work if your spell doesn't work banishing it then you need to get help <laughs> and that could be an elder practitioner it could even be a holy person of any religion you could try that uh you know whatever your path is personal to you could be a priest a shaman anything but it's it's very very rare you get something that malevolent it wouldn't just be a trickster if it was that malevolent but that's why you must research know your stuff especially for deity work you know know about your ancestors if it's them um and always be on your guard Keep cleansing is my recommendation. Keep cleansing your place. If if you even if you just do tarot readings, that I always do. If I'm tarot reading, I have my protections up at the time, and then once I'm done, I cleanse the energy from my space to make sure there's nothing at all lingering around, good or bad, just neutral. And that's that's just how I like it. Uh, but yeah, this was a quick video just to explain what to look out for, what they are. Why it's so important to know these things because basically you could have something feeding like it's, think of it like a literal leech making you feel crap for like ages <laughs> essentially you could have something there not even know it uh, and they will think of it like a shape shifter they, they will pause as anything to get your trust to be in your life so please please uh, especially if you're starting out 
be careful, research protections, research different banishment rituals, make sure you're cleansing, you know about that and that you know who you're contacting so you can quiz them and just check. But that's kind of today's video and what I wanted to cover. I'm just going through like the most popular questions that get asked. So let me know what you thought. If it helped you, great. If not, well, let me know. Uh, I'm always happy to help. If any beginners have questions, I'll share what I, I know. Um, to an extent, of course, I can't give away all my secrets. I'm more than happy to help our beginners. Uh, that's why I've started this channel and everything. So yeah, like I said, please subscribe. And um, till next time. Take care. Bye.